All right. Well, Astrid, I don't know uh, quite what to expect Monday, but uh, like you say, Rainer Shrine, it'll be a great parade. And I know Ron Butland, and, uh, as he always does, has done a terrific yes. job of putting it together. And when we have that chance of showers, I mean, when is that exactly going to come? We know it'll fall on that day, but is it going to hold off until after the parade? I hope so. Here's what's on the way for tonight. We are looking at a few clouds increasing through the Victoria area overnight tonight. Lows around 7 degrees. Tomorrow, a high of 15. It was noticeably cooler today. We're going to see these cooler temperatures uh, for a couple more days. Days. Normal is 17. Our record set in 1985 at 27 and a half. Let's take a look at your temperatures right now with your live weather sensors. And at Butcher Gardens, it's 15 degrees even there right now. Taking a look up a little, up island a little bit more. We're going to go up to Port Alberni at the harbor there. 17.2. So that's still one of the hot spots on the island, the Alberni Valley, keeping all that warmer air in. We're still under the influence of this high pressure, but a number of things going on through BC. There's an upper low through northeastern BC that's bringing snowfall warnings there for tonight and the next uh, 48 hours. Pretty wintry conditions. For us, we're watching an upper cold front, and that's got a good bit of moisture coming with it. That means we're looking at at uh, a little bit of rain Sunday through Monday. And that chance of thunder showers as that approaches is really for southeastern BC. For tonight, what we can expect around the Port Hardy area, we're going to notice some winds picking up. There's about a 30% chance of showers for the Port Hardy area tonight. So starting to notice that transition. Seven degrees for Port Hardy and along the east coast, Campbell River, Courtney Comox, where we have really just a few clouds overnight tonight, but noticeably windy overnight. So you'll see those gusts, not at a warning level, Level, but you'll have windy conditions near the waterfront. Clear and cold, two degrees in Port Alberni along to the west coast to Tofino, looking at five degrees. Again, clear, the strongest gusts though coming along the west coast. So 50 to 70 kilometers an hour easing around midnight and before morning. Temperatures between six and seven degrees overnight tonight for much of the South Island with partly cloudy conditions after midnight and winds picking up along the Juan de Fuca Strait. For tomorrow, this translates into a pretty nice day. We start to see the winds blowing the clouds away and clearing 15 degrees through downtown Victoria for the afternoon, 13 towards the west shore, but only 9 degrees in the Souk area. So it's going to be a bit cooler there tomorrow. Taking a look at the Cowichan Valley, if you're in the Duncan area, you're looking at 15 degrees, mainly clear skies through Lake Cowichan up to Crofton Chimanus with a UV index of 6 or high tomorrow. Through Nanaimo, 18 degrees. And again, you're going to see some sunshine, but the clouds roll in in the afternoon again, and you have a very slight chance of some showers, about 30% through the Nanaimo area in the afternoon. So just in case, Keep the umbrella with you. Along the west coast, a bit of a brighter picture. You're going to see 13 degrees through Tofino, Euclid, to the Port Alberni area. Slight chance of showers later in the afternoon after a sunny morning. You'll see those clouds rolling in later in the day. Chance of some showers through Courtney Comox, Campbell River. Slight chance through the afternoon. And up to the north end of Vancouver Island, we're going to see mainly clear conditions in the afternoon. So overcast in the morning, clearing throughout the day. A UV index of 5 or moderate up near Port Hardy. Taking a look at the rest of BC for tomorrow, almost exactly like what we expected for today. So temperatures 16 degrees through Vancouver and through the Kelowna area. You've got some periods of rain on the way through Cranbrook. Here's what you can expect over the next seven days. Greater Victoria, a couple of more nice days. And then as we get into Sunday and Monday, we've got that chance of showers, but really drying out midweek next week once again. The Mid-Island, you two are going to see fairly dry conditions with the exception of a few showers here and there over the next week. And the north end of the island, well, you're going to see the majority of the rain. It's coming your way as early as Sunday.